Hello my lovely, lovely friends and welcome back to A, B, C with Gersh TV! Yay! Hooray! I hope my friends are feeling like this today! But if you're feeling like this or like this can I tell you something friends you are going to be feeling like this by the end of this video I always want you to remember that God loves you God Loves you. God loves you because the Bible tells you so. Sing the song, friends. God loves you. God loves you. God. The loves you because the Bible tells you so. Hooray! It is so important that we know no matter how we feel, no matter how sad we can feel sometimes, how confused we can feel sometimes, sometimes even just sad and angry we feel we should always know that we are never alone my friends because God God loves you and cares about you no matter how you feel now I want to sing you a very special song that God put in my heart to sing for you and so you can learn it and sing this song when you are feeling sad, mad, unhappy or confused because God loves you. Now, I want you to copy me clicking can you click your fingers click your fingers it doesn't matter if I'm sad it doesn't matter if I'm angry one thing I know is that God loves me Doesn't matter if I'm mad It doesn't matter if I'm unhappy One thing I know is that God loves me So I can be sad Or I can be unhappy but it says in the Bible, I am loved. So I can be mad, or I can be confused. It's alright, because God will turn it around. So I can be sad, or I can be unhappy. One thing I know is that God loves me Or I can be mad Or I can be confused One thing I know is that God loves me So I can be sad Or I can be confused but it says in the Bible, I am loved. Or oh, I can be mad. Or oh, I can be confused. But I know my God, He will turn it around. 
Oh, I can be sad Or I can be confused One thing I know Is that God loves me One thing I know Is that God loves me and singing this new amazing song oh I can be sad I can be angry but one thing I know is that God loves me now friends it is time for us to do the biblical alphabet and friends right after doing the biblical alphabet we are going to be looking at a special letter from our biblical alphabet oh i wonder which letter it's going to be <laughs> but before we figure that out let's do our biblical alphabet yeah is for Adam. Ah, ah, Adam. Ah is for Adam. Ah, ah, Adam. B is for Bible. B, B, Bible. B is for Bible. B, B, Bible. K is for commandments. K, K, commandments. K is for commandments. K, K, commandments. D is for Daniel. D, D, Daniel. D is for Daniel. D, D, Daniel. A is for Earth. A, A, Earth. A is for Earth. A. Uh, uh. F is for fish. F, f, fish. F is for fish. F, f, fish. G is for Goliath. G, g, Goliath. G is for Goliath. G, g, Goliath. H is for heaven. H, H, heaven. H is for heaven. H, H, heaven. I is for Isaac. I, I, Isaac. I is for Isaac. I, I, Isaac. J is for Jesus. J, J, Jesus. J is for Jesus. J, J, Jesus. K is for King. K, K, King. K is for King. K, K, King. L is for Lamb. L, L, Lamb. L is for lamb. L, L, lamb. M is for Moses. M, M, Moses. M is for Moses. M, M, Moses. N is for Noah. N, N, Noah. N is for Noah. N, N, Noah. R is for olive branch. R, R, olive branch. R is for olive branch. R, R, olive branch. P is for pray. P, P, pray. P is for pray. P, P, pray. Qua 
is for Queen Esther. Qua, qua, Queen Esther. Qua is for Queen Esther. Qua, qua, Queen Esther. Ra is for Resurrection. Ra, ra, Resurrection. Ra is for Resurrection. Ra, ra, Resurrection. S is for Stable. Stable s is for stable. S s stable. T is for Trinity. T T Trinity. T is for Trinity. T T Trinity. O is for uprising. O O uprising. O is for uprising or or uprising v is for vine v v vine v is for vine v v vine w is for whale w w whale h is for whale w Wa wayo. X is for exaxis. X x exaxis. X is for exaxis. X x exaxis. Ya is for yoke. Ya ya yoke. Ya is for yoke. Ya ya yoke. And za is for Zachariah. Z, Z, Zachariah. Z is for Zachariah. Z, Z, Zachariah. Now, which is the special word we are going to be looking at from our biblical alphabet? Drum roll, please. G is for Goliath. G, G, Goliath. G is for Goliath. G, G, Goliath. <sighs> Friends, we are going to be looking at the sound and letter G. And we're going to be looking at other words in the Bible that start with the letter G, G, G. Can you say it? G, G, G. G is for Goliath. G, G, Goliath. G is for Goliath. G, G, Goliath. Ooh. Who can think of another word that starts with the letter G? Yes, G is for God. G, G, God. G is for God. G, G, God. The one in which we love and worship with all our hearts. The one that is above all the world, all the humans, all of the creations is our great big G God. Not only is God above everything, He created everything. G is for God who made you and me. G is for God that created everything. Oh, I wonder what another word in the Bible that starts with the letter sound G. <gasps> gospel. G is for gospel, the amazing good news. G is for gospel that saved me and you. <gasps> the gospel is the good news that God created the world and it was God until Eve 
and Adam sinned against God, which made God sad. Oh, but it didn't end with Jesus dying on the cross how he rose again to be one with God. Oh, he is so good. Because of this amazing sacrifice, we can live and be happy knowing that we live to serve the Most High God. And one day we will all be one with God in heaven. Isn't Yay! God so good, friends? God is for gospel, the amazing good news. Ooh, another word in the Bible that begins with go. <gasps> Galilee. Ah, oh, Galilee is an amazing place in the Bible where most of Jesus' amazing stories happen in a place called Galilee. G is for Galilee, where Jesus did many things. Ooh, another word in the Bible that begins with the letter sound G. G is for grace. How beautiful and patient God is. God is so gracious to us. When we do wrong things, or when we upset him, when we repent, which means we ask God for his forgiveness, he loves us so much that he understands that we're human and that we're going to make mistakes. But he asks us to repent, ask for forgiveness of our sins. And my little friends, we can do this by putting our hands together praying to God and saying, God, I am so sorry for the things that I've done that makes you sad. Please forgive me, God, and our beautiful, amazing God, who already loves us anyways, will smile and forgive us of our sins. And he understands that we're human and that we're going to make mistakes. And that is grace. Grace which the Lord gives us. Oh, how I love God. He is so amazing. Friends, now it's time for the special game. Yay! So, I have two boxes. I have the G, G, G box and the J, J, J box. Let's put the special biblical words in the right boxes. Can you do that job for me, friends? Yay! Yay! Let's start. The first word is glory. Now, which box do we put the word glory in? The G, G, G box or the J, J, J box? Yes! Glory is G, G, G. That goes in the G box. Well done, my friends. Oh, what's the next word? Jerusalem. Oh, does that go in the G, G, G box or J, J, J box? Yes. J is for Jerusalem. It goes in the J, J, J box. The next word is Goliath. I don't need to ask that one. Which one does Goliath go into, friends? You better tell me the right answer. <laughs> yes, G is for Goliath. G, G, Goliath. 
Ga is for Goliath. Ga, ga, Goliath. Oh, that was a trick question, friends, but well done for passing my small test to see if you know your biblical alphabet. Hmm, the next word is Joseph. Which box does Joseph go into? <laughs> yes, J is for Joseph. J, J, Joseph. The next word is God. God. G is for God. G, G, God. G is for God. G, G, God. Well done, my friends. Ooh, which is the next word? John, John, which box does John go into? J is for John, J, J, John, J is for John, J, J, John. One more friends, which box does Grace go into? Yes, G is for grace. G, G, grace. G is for grace. G, G, grace. Our oh, friends, if you know any other words from the Bible starting with G, 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 or J, 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 tell me. Tell mommy and daddy, tell your friends. There's so many amazing words and names and places, starting with the letter sounds G, 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 and J, J, J. Well done, my friends. Now, friends, it is that special time of the video where we read from our amazing children's bible where we learn about god's amazing stories in the bible and today we are going to go all the way to the new testament so we can read more about jesus which is so important in our faith with god because Jesus is God. Jesus is the way to God. Jesus is the reason why we are able to be here today and live, laugh, learn, all because of Jesus. So we are going to read Jesus in the temple. This was when Jesus was a little boy and I can't wait for you guys to see and read about Jesus as a little boy and just how smart he was. Jesus in the temple. Jesus grew up in Nazareth, cared for by Mary and Joseph. He went to the school and learned the laws God has given to the Jews. Every year, Mary and Joseph went to Jerusalem to celebrate the feast of the Passover. This festival reminded them that God had freed his people from slavery in Egypt all those years ago. When Jesus was 12 years old, he went to Jerusalem with his parents. The journey took four days. When they arrived, the great city was crowded with visitors. When the festival was over, Mary and Joseph joined the other families going back to Nazareth. They thought Jesus was in the crowd with the other boys. It wasn't until they stopped in the evening to camp for the night and have a meal, they realized that Jesus was missing. 
They looked everywhere for him and asked everyone if they had seen him, but they couldn't find him. Very worried, Mary and Joseph hurried back to Jerusalem. For three days, they searched the city for Jesus. At last, they found him in the temple. He was sitting with the temple teachers, listening to them and asking questions. The teachers were amazed that Jesus, who was only 12, understood so much of what they told him. And they were astonished by the questions he asked. Mary and Joseph were very surprised to find him here. Why did you do this to us, Mary asked Jesus? We've been searching everywhere for you. We were so worried about you. We thought we'd never find you. I'm sorry, I've caused so much trouble, said Jesus. But didn't you know you would find me in my father's house? Mary and Joseph didn't understand what Jesus meant. They took him home to Nazareth, where he grew up into a wise, strong, young man who loved and obeyed his parents and God. Our friends, this story makes me laugh because one thing I will tell you, you should never run away from mommy and daddy, okay? Just because Jesus did doesn't mean you do. But Jesus loved God so much and he was so young. But he knew that God was his father and he wanted to learn about him so much. And I pray that over my little friends who are watching, that you love God so much that you pray to God. You ask mommy and daddy about the God that we serve. You ask mommy and daddy to read the Bible to you so you could understand all of God's amazing stories and teachings. Oh, he is so good. You are never too young to learn about how much God loves you and how he wants you to live. Oh my friends, I had so much fun learning, laughing and loving God with you. Oh, how he loves you so much. Friends, I love you. And most importantly, God, God loves you so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye, my friends.